or reach. It's Vlogmas day seven. Um, today I have to go get my Rituxan infusion for my lupus nephritis. So I don't even know what kind of video this is gonna be today. It's probably just gonna be a vlog, but it's not gonna have a lot of footage because I can't record in there. I'll try to record whatever I can on my phone, but um, so we'll see how that goes. You feel me? I ate some eggs. So, I'm in this place again. Where I'm over. I'm like so sick of being sick. Like I'm always sick of being sick. But I'm ready to like. I'm ready to to like try to get healthy again because honey as sick as I have been and as much pain as I have been in it's hard for me to function you know like I can't even most days I can't crack an egg most days I can't even get out of bed because I'm just in so much pain and baby these doctors couldn't care less they don't care at all. They don't care. I think I need to talk to my doctor about seeing it. Um, about getting a pain doctor. I think so. Because I'm tired of um, like dealing with this pain that I always have. <clears throat> Constant pain. And nobody caring. I feel like if I go see, if I get a pain doctor, I don't know. Maybe they'll care. Maybe they won't. I don't know. But I, t I see my kidney doctor tomorrow. And honey, I just need help. I don't know what else to do. I need help. So I'm gonna talk to my doctor about that because I'm over it. Because when you see me over it. I'm trying to find oh, a lot of people love cooking their eggs and bacon grease and I mean it's cool it's alright but I just don't like too much it's too much you know what I mean so I just pour it out okay I'm just gonna leave you right there Oh, honey, I, I was watching Queen Naja's video of how she uh, she was making eggs or something. <sighs> and she had a non-stick skillet, and she was using a metal spoon on her non-stick skillet. I'm just like, girl, you're not supposed to do that. That's why your skillet is so toe up, honey. Your skillet is toe up. So I'm just trying to make a little breakfast. Sorry, you can't see me. I'm just trying to make a little breakfast for myself. I have to be there at 9. I got to get the kids ready. They're going to grandma's. And, um... understand that I'm immune compromised and I need you to be if you're gonna be around me and my family you have to quarantine I mean like you have to be more aware of the situation like you can't just be hanging out with people that are that have had corona or the people that don't um, care you know they just um, People that just don't care about coronavirus and they go about their business like it ain't no damn coronavirus. And then you can't just be around people like that because 
I can't because that could kill me, you know? And so I feel, I don't know, maybe this is selfish, but I really don't care because with chronic illness, baby, you have to be selfish. So anyways, I just, I just need people in my circle to be careful. That's all I'm saying. And I told people, if you can't be careful, then I'm not going to be able to be around you and neither are the kids or Phil. And Phil agreed to that. So, all right, here's my breakfast. I'm gonna go eat it, it is 6.05 a.m. I'm gonna go eat my breakfast. I'm not gonna do a mukbang because, honey, I feel like watching TV and I can't watch TV if I'm doing a mukbang, so. So I have to find some clothes to wear for my infusion. And this is my big pile of clean clothes that I need to fold. I really need to fold them. But like I said, I've been sick. And don't nobody else do that but me. Uh, so, guys, I have no energy. Like, I thought I was feeling better, and this always happens. I think I'm feeling better, and then I eat. My face is a mess. I'm sorry. I haven't done anything. I think I'm feeling better, and then I eat some food, and food causes me inflammation in my body, and it makes my entire body throb, and I'm just weak and just exhausted and fatigued and can barely like move. That's why I said I'm about ready to uh, give it up. Like I'm ready to try the vegan diet again because I'm just tired of living like this. Like I'm tired of, of feeling this sick. And honestly, every time I try the vegan diet, I never feel better. I feel the exact same. I still have pain every single day. But in my head, because I know for so many people it has worked, I'm like, I gotta do it because it works. It hasn't changed anything. Like it doesn't make me feel any different. But I know it can, and that's why I keep trying. Well, at least it can't, it has for other people. My doctors say my body is so strange. Like most medicine, people would, they take most medicine, it works for them. No medicine has worked to do any kind of reversal in my kidneys with my nephritis. It's, it's done damage. Like um, some medicine scarred my kidneys. I think it was cytoxin or something. Added more scars to my kidneys. And then um, every medicine that I take I have all the bad side effects and none of the good side effects. Nothing good. All right. All right, I'm gonna take a try. I'm not try. I am gonna take a shower. Whew. You know, baby. I don't feel like it, okay? I'm gonna get on in the shower. Let me start my shower. So, one of the things about, for me at least, with my lupus and my IH is I can't stand up very long. It makes me um, real sick if I do. Oh girl, I couldn't even get all the way dressed, honey. I just don't have it in me today. I put, look, I'm not even all the pictures. Look at my stomach. I didn't um, put my pants on. It is, I have to be there at 10. My father in law is picking me up at 9. And it's 7 27.
I look so terrible. I washed my face in the shower, but you sure can't tell. I wonder if I lose weight, would it get better? I'm focusing on losing weight, but then I, I've been having all these stomach issues. And I haven't been eating, but then I've been gaining, not gaining weight, but I mean, I kind of have because I was down to like 271. And now I'm at like 277. And so I'm not eating, but I'm gaining weight. Mm, explain that to me. Why is it blurry? Okay, I'm out, I have pants on. I'm gonna um, brush my teeth, wash my face. I mean, I already washed it. But, you know. And you're not supposed to wear perfume. I just put on a little squirt because I do what I want. Just put it in the boobies. Uh, brush my little teeth. So I'll be able to dial a tree toothbrush. Brush my teeth. I'm already in my house. I can't show you all the kids because my house is just a mess. Let's see if I can do a decent. The kids are ready. And we're just waiting for my father-in-law. This will be the last good clip you see. And I'll try to get some footage on my phone at the um, clinic. So, bye. They gave me pain meds, so hopefully it kicks in. I've been here for, I've been here since 9.30 and it's 3.32 right now, so I'm not even close to done, not even close. I'm in so much pain sitting here, I have extreme pain. Every time I get this infusion, my kidneys hurt really bad. I know I don't have my ass, my last wrong right now. I know I have my last on wrong right now. But I don't care. I was already having kidney pain and now it's worse. Because of the infusion, so. All right, I'm done with my infusion. I'm eating some Jack in the Box because I'm hungry. I hate these infusions. I'm gonna talk to my dog because I'm not gonna deal with this crap no more. I shouldn't have to be sitting there in pain for hours before you give me pain medicine. I called my rheumatologist doctor and he said, the nurse said, the doctor said that he's tried you on so many pain meds and nothing's works and nothing works. So you need to take a burst of prednisone for five days, 20 milligrams. Your prednisone is enough for me, girl. Causes me more pain, bloats me, and makes me more sick than I already am. Why would I do that? That's just dumb. Oh, these people got my nerves. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be on a freaking outrage or what's it called? A rampage. But they got my nerves. I'm eating a spicy chicken sandwich. I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to because I'm tired and I'm irritated. Alright. I'm waiting. Phil, my father in law is taking us to his house. I can be in his house where my kids are. And then Phil's gonna pick us up from there. So, oh, baby. We'll see you 
maybe when we get home, if not by tomorrow, Vlogmas Day 8. Or reach.